Hi everybody, thanks for joining. Uh, this is the first video of four covering uh, our trip we just made to the Wind River Range in Wyoming uh, in mid-September of 2022. Uh, I'm going to do things a little bit differently this time. One of them is start with a little bit of an introduction about the uh, place that we went, what we did. Uh, hopefully cover a few items of interest along the way and then also I'll show on the map each day where we went uh, give you an idea of what that was like so not supposed to be a trip planning video you know do your own homework and things like that but this is just what we did <clears throat> so anyway uh, yeah this is covering day one we started at the Green Lakes trailhead and went upstream on the Green River which would be going south uh, along what is part of the Continental Divide Trail and we made it to an area called Beaver Park on the first day along the way uh, <clears throat> that was that's a pretty popular area we started on a Sunday a weekend you know so there are a lot of people who were just in for a day or two uh, around the lakes and things like that so there was a fair amount of traffic met one person going along the Continental Divide Trail doing a through hike and kind of played back and forth with her on the trail along the way uh, wish her luck and hope that's all going well um, this trip uh, as I mentioned was three nights and four days we had originally intended to have an extra night extra day uh, in the trip but we knew some weather was coming in uh, Trisha wisely counseled that we should speed things up a bit so we did compress it still covered the same distance it made it a lot more physically challenging um, but nonetheless enjoyable the winds are an amazing place. I'm definitely going back. It's everything that people say it is and more. Um, very physically challenging, especially you know when we're covering extra distance and extra elevation every day. Um, but we really enjoyed the trip. Uh, didn't get any weather until the last day. That was the right decision because then things stayed pretty rainy and cooled off uh, once we got out of there as well. Uh, as far as wildlife, didn't see a ton uh, of, of large wildlife. Um, <clears throat> I, we did have one moose encounter in the camp first night, which I think I mentioned in the upcoming uh, part about the map. Um, on day three, uh, we jumped a, a cow moose. I think she was I think she was bedded down um, just by her behavior, fairly close, and she ran across the trail in front of us. Uh, I got sort of a picture of her that'll be included, but. At any rate, uh, so this is day one. Um, hope you enjoy this. Stick around for uh, subsequent videos of the other parts of the trip. And in the last video, I'll include some pictures, which actually is almost my favorite part of any of these videos. So thanks for watching and hope you enjoy. Here's a look at our map for the first day's uh, hike. We started up at the Green River Lakes Trailhead and our route is highlighted in orange down here. Uh, it took us along the east side of the Green River Lakes, and that's also part of the Continental Divide Trail. So we followed that upstream along the Green River, and uh, over here you can see uh, Gaia GPS, which I use to, as a primary navigation tool, uh, 10 miles total. Um, our ascent was 511, but we came down 455, so not a lot of elevation change, just a little bit. Uh, wound up just over 8,000 feet. Uh, at any rate, we made it from the trailhead down to an area called Beaver Park and made camp there for the first night. We had Square Top Mountain in sight most of the way until we got around the corner here in Granite Peak. We were uh, right below that looking at that and had a really nice spot, so we were very lucky. And you'll see some footage of that in the video. We did have one, uh, a little bit of excitement uh, during the night. Uh, I believe it was a moose <laughs> came up behind the tent and got a little surprised and, and took off. Uh, I'm not sure 100% it was a moose because I didn't see it, but based on all the moose sign we had seen, uh, the habitat that we were in, you know, it could have been an elk. It was sounded like a single animal. Um, elk this time of year we might have more than one don't know for sure anyway but uh, yeah it came up behind us spooked and then I uh, could hear it crashing back across the river so that was our fun for night one so we'll go and start the video there you go all right getting ready 
at the Green Lakes Trailhead. And here we go. You go first. So, apparently we need to cross a little footbridge here right at the beginning of the trail. And we will be going that way, past the Green Lakes. Here comes, <laughs> comes Trailhead Trisha, the square top in the background. Hard to guess which one square top is, isn't it? Yeah. All right. So this portion of the trail we're on is part of the Continental Divide Trail. No, that is that guy's boat, I think. Yeah, there's a boat ramp. I see a guy backing down over there. It wasn't a real big boat. So, as expected, we're running into quite a few people, but that's probably the way it's going to be on this part of the trail for sure. Popular place and CDT. Good view coming up. So we're getting up to the top of the first of the Green Lakes, the biggest of the two. And there's a smaller one <clears throat> farther along the trail right behind it. We'll be passing that as well. We'll be going up through that notch, I think passing square top to our left. So that's where the drainage is. I mean, passing square top will be on our right. We'll be to the left of it. <clears throat> I'll blame it again on altitude, even though we're not that high. <laughs>
<clears throat> the red-breasted nut hat on nut hatch on that dead tree. Probably can't see it. But he's down there. So I think this is the coming down from Slide Lake, Slide Creek, I think. I have to look on the map to be sure. Very pretty. Looks like there were salmon under the bridge or somewhere. Hey, oh my love. <laughs> good. Very good. The meadow between the lakes here. taking pictures of each other. <laughs> Looking back, right behind those willows is the other lake. Glorious day. It's actually a little warm in the sun. Let's see, so far just driving here from Utah, what, what, what have we seen? We've seen at least one bald eagle, a couple raptors I couldn't identify. Trisha saw a cow moose, a bunch of pronghorn, a bunch of muleys, a couple mergansers on the lake, what might have been a teal, although I couldn't tell, hen teal, osprey this morning. And a bunch of people and their dogs. Looks like we're about to break back into the open here. Another bridge. I do think we crossed to the other side of the stream at some point, and this might be it. The other side of the lake sand stream go be on the west side eventually nice spot so hopefully you can make this out but uh, a bunch of salmon very much in their spawning color so Uncle Robbie Caden, this is for you. Look at this. Saw one of them come up and rise to get his whole back out of the water. Very cool. So we should be hitting the second lake soon, and I think we're going to be crossing that bridge and pretty much staying on the other side the rest of the way. Green River. So we are just at the bottom north end 
of the second lake heading up that way and we're heading south that's south Yeah, about midway up this one. <laughs> Jacob, lots of mickets again, buddy. Thinking of you and thinking of your sis. <laughs> Here she is. Good job, babe. You're awesome. It 
is pretty. Very, very. Lots of ducks, mergansers, and I don't know, a little teal or something. The mighty Green River above Green Lakes. Love you. Beautiful place. And look at those trees just hanging on to the side of that face.
take your time, use your poles for balance. Okay? So this is uh, camp for night one, and uh, Chris is in the tent getting all our <laughs> hi babe, getting all of our uh, sleeping bags and everything in order in there. And we have just lucked into a gorgeous, gorgeous spot. Um, you can kind of see the mountains. We're in the along the Green River in the valley. We came uh, just to the north of Square Top Mountain, and uh, there's one other peak here I just can't think of the name off the top of my head but we uh, we just found this spot well off the trail and off the river and it is just beautiful so uh, here's a fire pit here I don't know if we're gonna have a fire probably not tonight we we covered uh, depending on whether you believe my Gaia app or Trisha's Garmin watch 10 or 11 miles uh, I think it's 10 but <laughs> she says 11 but uh, really great day. It was really not a lot of elevation gain or loss. I think we might have gained like a total of 100 feet because we just basically came up the feet net, that is. You know, we went up and down like two or 300. Um, but here is the Green River. This is, <clears throat> we're right here. And we're probably just going to come out here and fix our dinner. It's about 5 o'clock and we're both pretty hungry. It's about 7 o'clock at home. And I'll show you what this looks like right outside of our camp. This is, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. And I want to aim this thing right at the sun here. We'll try and get a shot of it up and down the creek a little more. Very silty. A lot of uh, runoff from the glaciers and the rocks around here. And there are glaciers up high. Uh, here we are looking upstream. And we'll continue up that way tomorrow. Um, our plan right now is to continue up that way. I think it's about a couple miles. We've got to go back to the trail here that's behind camp. Go up that way a couple miles. And uh, I think there is a bridge to get across the stream. And then we're gonna, our plan currently is then to go up and over, probably behind these peaks. Uh, hopefully you can see me. Probably go around somewhere down in there around and then up and it'll be about a 2,000 foot elevation gain. so we'll see everything's subject to how we feel and the big thing is to enjoy ourselves be safe and have a great time but this is this is just an amazing spot it really is very fortunate to be here and fortunate to be here with Trisha especially Ashley and Jake, love you guys. Miss you, thinking of you. Hope you are having a great time. And Nani, love you and thank you for taking care of them. And we'll walk back up into camp here and then we're going to make some dinner. So that'll probably be the end of the end of the video for today. Pick it up again tomorrow. The really nice thing is we've got just a little trickle of water coming through here that's not full of silt and everything like the main channel so we can get our water here and not have to <coughs> clog up our filter so all right we're back at camp gonna get some dinner ready down by the by the river and relax good job love love you, love you man.